Hey buddy, it's John with Upstate Brush Control. Here at the shop, pretty big day for us. We, uh, I'll just show you. Check it out. I mean, would you just look at it? Just hooked it up to the old uh, ancient trailer here. Picked up uh, my daughter, Sadie. <laughs> Picked her up from school in it. Uh, it honked the horn. Honked the horn, yeah. We, uh, yeah. Can you guess how dollars it is? No, <laughs> that's temporary tag. Might as well be that much. But, uh, yeah. We, uh, drove around town a little bit, you know, just picked up, went and got some lunch with the guys and picked up Sadie from school and <laughs> Just got back to the shop with it here and hooked it up. Definitely, uh, it's got bigger tires than our Freightliner did, so it sits up and it sits up higher. So hopefully, hopefully we won't have issue with dragging the tail of the trailer. Um, but we shall see. We shall see. But I wonder where your other one is. It's gone. It is down the road. We traded her in. So. Uh, yeah, did you have a Huh? Ten weeks but it is a 2017 Kenworth T880 don't worry about that but it is over here in the passenger side kind of hard to see but nice nice cold AC automatic it has the uh, Eaton Fuller 10 speed yeah don't touch that and, uh, and here's the horn. There's the horn. Got the CB with it. Hello. Hello. Uh, it's got a PTO. Hello. You coffee? Wet line. Kit and everything. One day down the road, low boy trailer. This is kind of my my thought. I just this is probably the last truck I will buy for a very 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 long time so we're gonna get on down the road here and uh we'll talk more about it later
All right, we made it back to my uh, brother's place. I unloaded the dozer. We rinsed off the uh, the trailer. It's pretty muddy. My brother, me and my brother, we just took our, took it for a spin around the block here. But uh, this is at my brother's. Uh, we call it his barn. He's eventually gonna be building his house here. Anyways, you might have seen us be bringing some fill dirt here in previous videos if you've been watching for a while. But anyways. Uh, so about the truck so it is a 2015 uh kenworth t880 it's got a little over uh like 219,000 miles on it it does have a pack car motor on it um and then there's an automatic uh 10 eaton fuller 10 speed so i really wanted a automatic i really wanted the allison but this is what i got and um it should do the job for for what i want i wanted to uh, kind of anybody who has a cdl class a cdl be able to hop in this uh go deliver something uh move some equipment around easily and safely we do a lot of city driving here so it's just back and forth in traffic we're not doing long hauls or anything like that max time is usually you know 45 minutes to an hour but we're going through my freightliner that i had i mean you'd only be in you know six six gears you know half the time anyways uh just a lot of shifting and a lot of stop and go stuff we're not out in the country well some jobs we do are out in the country but a lot of we have to go through a lot of traffic sometimes. So I wanted something a little bit easier, uh, a little bit safer. I don't know. Some people can argue with that. You know, you got your gears, sandy gears, whatever. This is what I wanted. This is what we got. So I did want a T800. I could not find one. I found one. Someone else beat me to it. Ah, it's a sweet orange one. Anyways, uh, so this is this is what we ended up with uh let's see here two yeah 216 216 miles currently getting 9.8 miles to the ground so uh pretty standard stuff in the cab it does have uh brakes on it or engine brake on it um it's got you know lockers and uh traction control I'm not sure got some light buttons and stuff over here gotta figure out but uh i wanted something that i really didn't want to have to do a lot of work to or with i didn't want a project truck truck i'm kind of over that <laughs> i wanted something i could jump in and go to work and uh this is pretty much set up how exactly what i wanted i wanted something with a um wet line kit so it has a wet line kit and tank it's got a headache rack i wanted a headache rack for for hauling a load of logs um log trailer whatever just protect the driver uh gotta put our little whirly bird light up there i wanted uh wanted dual exhaust got that i wanted chrome yes lots of it um you know that like things like down to this like there's a lot of trucks that don't that don't you know come with good tow hooks you know a lot of little road tractors don't have that stuff where we're gonna be out in the woods or wherever it's gonna get stuck no doubt about it just when and where so maybe one day down the road we'll end up getting a uh a low boy or possibly a big dump trailer that's more lines what i wanted the wet line kit for for a big dump trailer to be able to haul a lot of brush clearing these lots off and stuff stack a bunch in there and then haul it off to uh like a grind site whatever so we got fuel tanks uh both sides we got some good tires on it won't be needing tires or anything but here's the company i got the truck from j and j truck sales up there in virginia they actually have here in uh greer south carolina they have a uh use equipment section here they they rent you can buy and sell and use your equipment so that's kind of how i found out about them and somehow they have another company up there and but yeah so uh and the guy that i took my cdl class from long story 
his brother used to work for j and j equipment and that's where the guy got his trucks was j and j equipment the guy where i got mine anyways so next on the list is a new trailer so this is my old yeah someone told me it's an old military trailer but uh she's old needs some work i don't want to put the money into it i want to get something where we can put skid steer and that mini excavator on here we can we could cram it on there the boom comes up here it will work for now but hopefully in the near future we're gonna be getting a trailer to go along with this new truck that is my plan that has been my plan from the first i don't know six months of uh doing what i do you know coming up on eight eight and a half years ago i wanted a truck i can uh hook up and take two pieces at once uh no you cannot do it with 5500 what what i have i'm not into that i'm not into killing people and uh pulling ridiculous loads around um our cutter head is our cutting machine uh skid steer and, and uh excavator is pushing uh it's like 24,000 25,000 something like that just the two of those not plus trailer anything so I want to be safe. I want to, uh, let's see, what is it? 10,000, 12, yeah, it's around 20, 25,000, something like that. It's not a lot of weight for this, man. That's nothing for this, but for a pickup truck, um, for where we're at, just, I don't want to mess with it. I want something, I want to go above, above and beyond safety. So that is why we went this route and also for hauling our, obviously our 130 and our dozer. But, you know, for a quick little job where me and one other guy can run in, put the, put the skids here, put the mini excavator on there. We're going to get our trailer. We're going to have a toolbox in the front, put some tools in there, go in, do a job, knock it out. One truck, two guys has been my plan for a long long time so you know i can't thank enough uh willie josh and micah they um just awesome guys i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them them their hard work they work for me uh willie's been with me several years josh and micah has been with me about eight months so very thankful for them give them a thumbs up everybody so uh yeah so that's pretty much it i've uh i've been waiting a long long time for this i was telling the guys i haven't smiled this much in a long time <laughs> uh it's been a good day let's put it that way i've been uh been waiting for it for quite some time so big thanks to dirt perfect uh mike uh thank you i i really contemplated uh getting a dump truck like what my brother has like his t800 um and a tag trailer i really thought that was the way i was gonna go get a big dump truck and be able to put the brush in it and then just pull the equipment around with the tag trailer but i decided uh i already have the trailer i can basically go to work like this right now and the tag trailer that i wanted it was super long and just be able to get around in some of these neighborhoods and tight areas and for like hauling gravel and stuff, um, I can usually just hire a second company. Like uh, that's all they do is haul gravel. You know, I can get them to come in and haul faster and cheaper than I can put one of my guys in a truck on the road, all that kind of stuff for the driveways and a little bit of gravel work that we do. But uh, yeah, what was the same? So. I, I mean, maybe one day we'll get a dump truck, but not right now, because really the only thing I'll be using the dump truck for is uh, hauling brush. And so I wasn't too excited about spending for a good automatic low mileage dump truck, like a nice one. That's what I wanted. I didn't want something, you know, for spending that kind of money. It's, you know, it's close to $100,000 just for a good dump truck. And, uh, this one was, uh, I believe it was 
69.5, I believe is what we paid for it. So yeah, it's a good bit less. And I wanted something with low mileage. So one thing, uh, you know, I had most of everything I wanted. I did want a Cummins motor. Um, and I wanted the Allison, but it does have the uh, pack car. We'll see. Heard a lot of people say it's a good motor <laughs> if you had the right mechanic, but I think that comes along with anything. So I don't know. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. It's a good motor for us. And we don't have any issues out of it. Um, it has been deleted. Somebody deleted it. So I don't think there's any tunes on it. But somebody did delete the death system. It is all still here. If you looked at it, uh, it all looks like it's should be under the hood. We can pop the hood if you want. I really know nothing about these motors. <laughs> so... I mean, they, they do a good job up there cleaning them up and making them look good. I mean, they, I mean underneath it's just, she's looking real nice, nice and clean. Um, you know, they go through and paint them up and all that kind of stuff, but. Uh, trying to remember the horsepower. I believe it's it's uh, 455, 455 horsepower. So, I mean, I wish I had more. We all do, but but this this will work. This will work. This will get us down the road. You know, I'd love uh, 600 horsepower, or whatever. You know, but this will work for us. I'm happy. I'm very happy. Uh, the old Freightliner. Me and Josh were most of the time the ones moving the equipment just because Willie was moving equipment or working with Micah. So me, me and Josh, a lot of times, we would, uh, you know, say a quick prayer before we hit the road. It, she never left us stranded, but, uh, you know, God's grace. God's grace, man. But uh, it was a good truck. I had a little over a year, year and a half, something like that. Had to put money into it, but we uh, we got her. It got the job done for us, and this is something I've been I've been wanting to do for a long time. Uh, this truck, a lot of prayer, uh, a lot of prayer, and seeking advice from guys like Mike and my brother and my buddy and. Several guys are in the industry and stuff like that, and something I don't take lightly is just, you know, I, I got to think about these things and uh, pray about it, and seek advice. You just can't. I, mean, I just didn't run out yesterday and buy this. It doesn't work like that for me. If I had it my way, I mean, it would, but that's, <laughs> you know what I mean. You got to think about it. You got to pray about it seek advice and see what's going to work for you financially and this is just the next next step for us but back to mike you know he was a big help um i sent him a picture of this truck a while back i was like hey you know what do you think and you know it's it's pictures on you know i can only do so much with pictures but thanks again mike i appreciate the advice on the truck he was telling me mike was saying if you want a dump truck you know pulling a tag trailer that it's if you go any more than an hour that thing's gonna beat you to death you know bouncing around the road and everything but we'll get some video of her uh moving equipment and stuff this so hope you guys enjoy this we'll get some little drone footage with flying around it and stuff so uh any advice on a good uh trailer i want something kind of similar to this um I want something a little bit longer. I do want a step deck. Um, and then one day down the road, I want to get a low boy. Um, you know, that's, I mean, down, down the road. Kelly.
down the road, Jody and Kelly. Anyways, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but uh, the step deck trailer would be a uh, hair longer than this coming up with a ramp and then a flat deck on the top. Um, I don't care anything about hydraulic ramps. I want simple. I want I want the old chain and lift up the ramp. I'm not that out of shape. I'm not that old. I can lift the ramp up and down. I like simple. I don't care about any kind of hydraulic lifting ramp, nothing like that. I want I want a good build trailer, but I want cheap. Uh, as far as I'm not looking for any extras. I want lots of tie downs and I want a good build. I don't care about bells and whistles and stuff like that as far as the hydraulic or whatever. I don't care about that. So, any thoughts on, you know, need some advice on a good brand? I've been looking at the Kaufman and Pitts trailers. Uh, they're about 20 grand for what I'm looking at. If anybody's got any advice on uh, something like that, I would like to go as new as possible. I'm not in, I want to be able to buy a good, either almost new or new trailer that will last me a long time, you know, 15, 15 years, you know, just putting brakes and regular maintenance on it and not have to worry about it. Um, one thing we've learned over the years is, uh, it's hard to make money when you, um, when you have junk, <laughs> you know, my brother told me a long time ago, you can't make money with junk trucks, junk equipment. You just can't do it. But that's another story. We'll talk about that later. But uh, so one other thing I need from you guys. I need a name for it. Uh, we got our our 5500 Bertha and the blue uh, blue Ram 3500. It's hips. And uh, we were thinking Ruby. So uh, I don't know what you guys think. So, so hope you guys enjoy this video. It's been a good day for me for Upstate Brush Control, big step. So, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for watching the video, supporting us uh, by hitting the thumbs up button, comments, all that good stuff.